This is the first time that you traveled to Iran as the Pakistan's foreign minister. Would you please elaborate on the goals and objectives of this two-day visit? This is my first visit to Iran uh, as foreign minister of Pakistan. And as far as the goals for my visit are, are concerned, um, as you're aware, the people of Pakistan and the people of Iran have a great affection for one another. And Pakistan and Iran uh, not only share a history, uh, we share a culture, we share a religion, we share a special bond, uh, not only as neighbors, but as brothers and as sisters. And I'd like to see uh, our trade relations and our relations uh, as a whole match the affection that the people of Iran and the people of Pakistan have for one another. I, I believe that while there has been progress in our trade relations, we haven't unlocked the true potential uh, that is commemorative, uh, commemorative of the uh, relations of our two people. Okay, talking about trade relations, you know that Iran and Pakistan have a lot of potentials to improve their uh, you know, trade rates. Uh, what can you do in this regard? What are the uh, steps that we can take, especially to improve border markets? So I think that the two initiatives uh, uh, that have moved this uh, conversation in a positive direction is uh, A, the uh, opening of border markets, and we're looking forward uh, to inaugurating uh, one new border market in the near future, inshallah. Mm -hmm. uh, and then also uh, the barter trade initiative. And I think that these are ways that we can uh, take our economic relationship uh, forward. Okay, in the morning today, you had also meeting with Iranian Foreign Minister, Mr. Amir Abdullahian, and you went through various issues. Uh, one of the issues that you talked about today with him was uh, energy, which is very important for Iran and Pakistan. Uh, what steps are you going to take in energy field, especially gas and electricity? So we've made progress on the electricity front and Pakistan is importing uh, electricity for Balochistan from uh, Iran. Uh, we're looking forward uh, to enhancing that capacity and uh, importing uh, more energy, more electricity uh, in the future. As far as gas is concerned, the Pakistan-Iran gas pipeline the foundation of which was laid uh, when my father, President Zardari, was president of uh, Pakistan, uh, made initial progress, but uh, following the uh, restrictions and difficulties uh, that we face, we're looking forward towards the G uh, JCPOA uh, and other such initiatives going in a positive direction so we can move forward and realize that dream as well. Talking about JCPOA, I want to know about your point of view about the uh, imposed sanctions uh, of uh, imposed sanctions on Iran by the US. What is your point of view in this regard and how much are you optimistic about the future of JCPOA? We certainly feel that unilateral sanctions are not uh, helpful. Sanctions have a direct impact on, on um, average people, on, normal, on the people of Iran, but not only on the people of Iran, on the people of Pakistan, on the people of the region. Uh, and we believe that these unilateral sanctions are counterproductive. 